Top 3 Conspiracy Theories in the World The 9-11 Conspiracies The evidence is overwhelming that the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, were indeed the result of a conspiracy. There's no doubt about it. A close, or even cursory, look at the evidence makes it clear that it was carefully planned and executed by conspirators. The question, of course, is who those conspirators were. Osama bin Laden and the crew of, mostly Saudi, hijackers were part of the conspiracy, but what about President Bush and Vice President Dick Cheney? Did top Bush advisors, including Paul Wolfowitz and Donald Rumsfeld, either collaborate with bin Laden, or intentionally allow the attacks to happen? Put another way, was it an inside job? Conspiracy theorists believe so, and point to a catalogue of supposed inconsistencies in the official version of the attacks. Many of the technical conspiracy claims were debunked by Popular Mechanics magazine in March 2005, while other claims are refuted by simple logic. If a hijacked airplane did not crash into the Pentagon, as is often claimed, then where is Flight 77 and its passengers? Are they with the Roswell aliens at Hangar 18? In many conspiracy theories, bureaucratic incompetence is often mistaken for conspiracy. Our government is so efficient, knowledgeable, and capable. So the reasoning goes, that it could not possibly have botched the job so badly in detecting the plot ahead of time or responding to the attacks. I find that hard to believe. Princess Diana's murder. Within hours of Princess Diana's death on August 31, 1997, in a Paris highway tunnel, conspiracy theories swirled. As was the case with the death of John F. Kennedy, the idea that such a beloved and high-profile figure could be killed so suddenly was a shock. This was especially true of Princess Diana. Royalty die of old age, political intrigue, or eating too much rich food. They don't get killed by a common drunk driver. Unlike many conspiracy theories though, this one had a billionaire promoting it. Muhammad al-Fayed, the father of Dodi al-Fayed, who was killed along with Diana. Al-Fayed claims that the accident was in fact an assassination by British intelligence agencies, at the request of the royal family. Al-Fayed's claims were examined and dismissed as baseless by a 2006 inquiry. The following year, at Diana's inquest, the coroner stated that the conspiracy theory advanced by Muhammad Al-Fayed has been minutely examined and shown to be without any substance. On April 7 of this year, the coroner's jury concluded that Diana and Al-Fayed were unlawfully killed due to negligence by their drunken chauffeur and pursuing paparazzi. The Moon Landing Hoax in the 1978 film Capricorn 1, American astronauts and NASA faked a Mars landing. Though a mediocre film, it was an interesting idea, and one that would endure for decades. In 2001, Fox Television aired the program, Conspiracy Theory, Did We Land on the Moon? which rehashed many discredited, discrepancies, between the official version of the moon landing and photographs of the landing. Curiously, they never explain why NASA would distribute photographs that would prove that they had faked the moon landing. Websites such as badastronomy.com have pages and pages of point-by-point, -point, detailed refutations of the Fox claims. Of course, even if there was some credible evidence showing that the 1969 Apollo moon landing was a hoax, conspiracy theorists must also account for later moon missions, involving a dozen astronauts. And there's the issue of the hundreds of pounds of moon rocks that have been studied around the world and verified as of extraterrestrial origin. How did NASA get the rocks if not during a moon landing? Many astronauts have been offended by the implication that they faked their accomplishments. In fact in 2002, when conspiracy theorist Bart Sibrel confronted Buzz Aldrin and called him a coward and a liar for faking the moon landings, the 72-year-old punched Sibrel in the jaw. If you like this kind of content, leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps the channel a lot and we appreciate it. Thanks for watching.